welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here it is another monday so that means it is another weekly ww meal prep i have three fantastic recipes for you today breakfast lunch and a dessert all of which are delicious so if you want to see what three recipes i'm going to share with you for this week's meal prep just stay tuned <music> week I'm going to be making bacon breakfast pizza this sounds so good and I'm just gonna heat this up either in the oven or my air fryer in the morning you could even throw it in the microwave so let me show you what is in this week's breakfast we are going to be making two ingredient dough so you are going to need some non-fat Greek yogurt some type of oil of your choice I have avocado oil self rising flour one package of real bacon bits light shredded cheese and fat-free shredded cheese as well as some eggs also you'll need a couple of tablespoons of water so let's get started on this bacon breakfast pizza so the first thing we need to do to get started is i went ahead and measured out on my food scale one cup of non-fat greek yogurt and then i have just shy of a cup of flour so this is the self-rising i'm going to go ahead and add it in a little by little and then i will add a little additional flour if needed to make the right consistency of dough so we're going to go ahead and mix this together until we have a pizza dough consistency and then we're gonna go ahead and roll this out and add it to a sheet pan and we're gonna bake this brush with a little bit of our avocado or olive oil until it's nice and brown so we get a nice crispy crust so go ahead and mix together that non-fat Greek yogurt and your self rising flour and then we'll be ready to roll this out I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep at night. I'm honest, it's boring. One million thousand demons around in me, picking a fight. It's toxic. You are the best I ever had. Once you have your dough formed, you're going to go ahead and take a little bit more flour, and we're just going to go ahead and just get our rolling pin coated in that flour. And then we're gonna roll out our dough. And you can roll it as thick or as thin as you want. Now this breakfast pizza makes six servings. So we're actually gonna want this dough fairly thin because we need to get six servings of our breakfast pizza out of here. So I'm gonna get this rolled out onto a sheet pan with some parchment and we'll be ready to add those toppings. Once you have your pizza all rolled out, look how good that looks. We're going to go ahead and take a fork and we're just going to poke a couple of holes. That way our pizza doesn't rise too much when we're just trying to get it a little bit brown and crispy before we add on our toppings. And then from there, we're going to take about one tablespoon of whatever oil it is that you're using. And we're going to go ahead and put that on our pizza crust here. And then we're going to brush it on with a pastry brush to get that nice oily top and that's going to brown up really nicely in our oven so i have my oven warmed up to 400 degrees i'm going to go ahead and just pop my pizza crust in there for just a few minutes until it browns and it's nice and crispy and then we'll be back to add our toppings while our dough is in the oven we're going to go ahead and crack six eggs into our bowl here and we're going to get that cooked down on the stove just until we've started to make scrambled eggs and there's no liquid left whisked your eggs together we're going to go ahead and add in just a couple tablespoons of water and then I'm also going to add just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to my eggs just to kind of season them a little bit go ahead and give them another whisk and then we're going to throw these in a saucepan and get these scrambled so I went ahead and put a pan here on the stove with some non-stick cooking spray we're gonna add in our egg mixture and we're literally just gonna scramble this up until there is no liquids left. So I just pulled my crust out, you guys. This looks amazing. And I have my eggs here. So I'm just going to put these on my crust and then kind of spread them out. So we're making a breakfast pizza, essentially. 
So I'm just gonna kind of take my eggs here and just spread them out. I am gonna leave a bit of a border on my crust only because it's gonna be really hard to eat if I bring my toppings all the way to the edge. So I do wanna leave a bit of a border, like a crust, like you would have on a regular slice of pizza. Oh my gosh, this is already looking so delicious. Oh, okay, so I've got my eggs on there. And then the next thing that I want to add is I'm gonna go ahead and add some bacon bits. We're gonna use this entire package of bacon bits. Now you can go ahead and cook up bacon slices if that works better for you, but these are real bacon bits. They're not those weird, like crunchy, fake bacon bits that you can buy. These are the real deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this whole package to the top of my eggs. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Who doesn't love bacon? I mean, bacon and eggs together is a breakfast staple. And this way you're getting it on a delicious pizza. So there are my whole package, or is my whole package of bacon bits. And then lastly, we're gonna add two cups of cheese. I have one cup of fat free, and then I have one cup of light. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my fat free first just because the light melts a bit better than the fat free but this craft fat free actually melts pretty darn good so then i'm going to add the rest of my cheese this is going to be so cheesy and yummy and delicious you guys look at all this cheese on here so this is a very filling hearty breakfast because you have your eggs and your bacon for your protein and then you've got your cheese which is an additional dose of protein and i love that this pizza recipe Pete is so cheesy because I'm here for the cheese. So there we go. We've got our cheese. We've got our bacon. We've got our eggs. So I'm going to throw this back in the oven just until the cheese is nice and melted and everything is warmed through. All right, you guys, look at this. This looks so delicious. So this makes six servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down the middle here. I need five servings for myself, and then I already know, I already know my husband will easily eat the last serving. And then I'm just going to cut this as close as I can into six equal servings. And then that is going to be one portion of my breakfast is a slice of this pizza. So let me get this cut up and then I'll be able to show you guys what, oh, there we go, I got it. So let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yum, it is cheesy and eggy and this is a big slice. So this is a slice of the breakfast pizza. So what I'm gonna be having is one slice of the pizza with some fruit every day. So let me get my meal prep put together and I'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you all the smart points. So here are my breakfast for the week. I am so excited for this. This breakfast pizza smells amazing. The crust is nice and thick. You've got your eggs, your bacon, your cheese. So excited. I mean, look at this. This just looks beautiful and filling and delicious. So let's go over the points for my breakfast for the week. So one slice of the breakfast pizza cut into six servings is going to be six smart points on both blue and purple and eight smart points on green. And then I'm just pairing that with about a half of a cup or so of fresh blueberries for zero. So depending on the plan that you're following, this is a six or eight smart point breakfast for breakfast bacon pizza. Yes, please. For lunches this week, I'm going to be making a barley salad with strawberries and buttermilk dressing. This sounds so delicious. And I'm just going to pair it with one of these chicken skewers from Costco. So let me show you what is in my barley salad. First, you're going to need some spinach, fresh strawberries, Dijon mustard, frozen peas, light sour cream, reduced fat buttermilk, you can either use a shallot or minced onion. I don't have a shallot, so I'm gonna do minced onion. Of course, some salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of poppy seeds, and one cup of barley. And then again, I am going to pair that with these chicken skewers from Costco. These are a 
amazing so if you can get to a costco near you highly recommend they're so delicious so let's get started on our barley salad so i've decided to cook my barley in my instant pot just because it takes about half the time as it does over the stove if you don't buy quick cook barley which i did not it's about an hour on the stove i know they sell quick cook but I couldn't find it so I just bought regular barley so I'm gonna do it in my instant pot so I have my one cup of barley to my instant pot I've added three cups of water and then I'm gonna add in my barley and we are going to cook this on manual high temperature for 25 to 30 minutes and then quick release While the barley's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cook my peas just until they're warmed through. I have them in some water with a little bit of salt and I have eight ounces of frozen peas. While the barley's cooking in the peas, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce for our salad. So in my bowl here, I'm going to add one quarter cup of my low fat buttermilk. And then I'm going to also add one quarter cup of my light sour cream. You could substitute non-fat Greek yogurt, but it's not really going to change the point. So I would probably just stick with the light sour cream. We're also going to put in a teaspoon of our Dijon mustard. So I'm just gonna eyeball about a teaspoon. We're also going to add in our one teaspoon of poppy seeds and the equivalent of a shallot of minced onion. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon or so of the minced onion, and then we're gonna pop in some pepper and a pinch of salt. And then we're gonna go ahead and whisk this together. And this is going to create the yummy sauce for our salad. Oh my gosh, it should be so good. And what a whole food healthy meal this is going to be as well with the strawberries and those chicken kebabs. So I'm gonna get this mixed together. Once your peas are warmed through, go ahead and just pull out your strainer. And we're just gonna strain these and set these aside to cool. So next we're gonna go ahead and take our strawberries. We're gonna, I washed them already. We're gonna slice these up for the salad. I was worried you'd blow my reputation. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you make it. All right, I just popped the lid off. Look at our barley looks really good. There is going to be a little bit of liquid left. So I have a slotted spoon here and I'm just going to pull my barley out with the slotted spoon to avoid getting any of the liquid. But this is cooked absolutely perfectly. And it's going to go here in this bowl that I have my peas in because this is the bowl we're actually going to mix our salad in. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my barley put into my bowl here and we'll get our salad put together. Together. I had and added my barley here to my bowl with my peas. I have my strawberries sliced up, my Parmesan cheese, two ounces that I weighed out on my food scale, five ounces of baby spinach, and then we have our yummy sauce that we made. So to our bowl here, we're going to go ahead and add in our two ounces of measured out Parmesan cheese. Let's get it all. And then we're also going to add in all of our yummy sliced strawberries. And that was a two pound package. I ended up not using the whole package, but about three quarters of it. Strawberries are zero points. So feel free to bulk this up with strawberries, no matter what plan you're on, uh, and have as many as you'd like in this salad. So there is my strawberries. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our pack of spinach. Now the recipe calls for five ounces which is what this package is now I don't know if I'm going to add the whole thing I want to kind of see so I'm going to put in a good handful and mix because I don't want the spinach to be too overpowering of all of the other ingredients in my salad so I'm just going to mix it in kind of little by little and if there's any left no problem I use it for salads also I put spinach in my smoothies so that way I'm not like overfilling my salad here with some spinach. So I think I am going to put in another good size handful and then keep the rest here for smoothies and salads. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit too much spinach otherwise. So I'm gonna give that another quick stir together and then we're gonna add in the dressing that we made, which is gonna tie this entire salad together. So here's our dressing. I'm going to add just a good spoonful 
mix it and see if I want to add more or if I want to top my barley salad with the rest of the dressing when I go to eat it. So let me get this mixed in. I think I am going to go ahead and add in all of the dressing that I made rather than popping it and having to figure out how much is left. Divide that by the four servings that this recipe makes. This recipe does only make four servings. So look at this. This is a ton and it makes only four servings. But this is a well-rounded lunch with great whole ingredients. So in my opinion, if you can have more for the smart points, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all mixed in and then we'll get it all packaged up and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm having for lunch and give you the smart points. So here is my completed lunch. This is a ton of food. So this is going to be a very filling, satisfying lunch. So in my bowl here, I have one fourth of the strawberry barley salad. And look at this bowl. It's huge and it is three quarters of the way full with the salad. Now you can eat this cold or you can pop this in the microwave for a few minutes and warm it up, kind of whatever your preference is. It can be eaten either cold or warm. I'm probably gonna try it each way. One day I'll have it cold, one day I'll have it warm. And then I'm pairing that with those chicken skewers. So in my bag here, I have one full skewer and one half of a skewer. So this is one smart point. You can actually have up to three skewers for one smart point, but that would just be way too much for me. So I just did one and a half skewers of the chicken and then a bowl of my barley salad with strawberries. So the salad itself is three smart points on the purple plan because the barley is zero. So those of you on purple, this is a lot of food for three smart points and good healthy food. It is nine smart points on the green plan and eight on the blue. So depending on what plan you're following, if you did go ahead and have a chicken skewer or one point worth of other protein, it would be four on the purple plan, 10 on the green and nine on the blue. So cannot wait for this. It looks delicious. For sweet treat or snack this week, I'm going to be making skinny double chocolate chip muffins. I am so excited about these. These are big full size muffins and the smart points are amazing. So let me show you what is in our muffins. First, you're going to need some unsweetened almond milk, self rising. So the flour that already has the leveling agents in it, a sweetener alternative of your choice. You guys know I love my monk fruit, unsweetened applesauce, cocoa powder, baking powder and baking soda, as well as vanilla extract, chocolate chips of your choice. I'm going to be doing the Lily's dark chocolate chips and eggs. So let's get started on our muffins. Let's make some double chocolate muffins. So the first thing we're going to do is add one and two thirds cup of self rising flour to our bowl. We're also going to add two thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder one cup of whatever sugar alternative you're using. I'm using monk fruit. Mine is a one to one ratio, but watch your ratio from real sugar to the alternative on the package. But monk fruit is a one to one. We're also going to add in eight of our 10 tablespoons of our chocolate chips. So basically almost all of our chocolate chips. And then we're just going to leave a couple of tablespoons. And then we're also going to do one teaspoon of baking soda. So one teaspoon of that. And then we're also going to do one teaspoon of our baking powder. And I get a lot of questions on where I got my teaspoons. These are from Home Goods. It was a cute little set of measuring spoons. So cute. So mix that together with the spoon. Just get everything nice and combined. And then in a separate bowl, we're going to mix our wet ingredients. Oh, wow, if I can talk. And then we'll add those here to our dry ingredients. Be really careful with this recipe when you do add everything together, not to over mix. So in the beginning stages here, you want to mix it until you don't see any more white flour. It's all nice and combined with that cocoa powder. Ready for the wet ingredients. So in a separate bowl, we're going to put in our three quarters of a cup of almond milk. And then we're going to add in our two eggs. I always crack my eggs separately, as you know, so that I avoid the shell. And then we're going to put in one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. 
And then lastly, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I have a whisk here and we're gonna whisk this until fully combined because once we add this to our dry ingredients, again, we need to be really careful not to over mix. Once you've whisked that together, we're going to add the wet ingredients directly into our dry ingredients. And this is where we need to be really careful not to over mix. We literally want to stir this until everything's combined and it's a wet mix versus a dry mix. We're ready to get our muffins in our muffin pan. We are going to spray these really well with nonstick cooking spray. If you are using a liner, you do not have to, of course, spray it but I'm just gonna put them right here in my muffin pan. And then I went ahead and pulled out my scoop that's about a quarter of a cup. I did buy these scoops on Amazon. They came in a three pack with all different sizes. So those are linked in my Amazon store. And we're just going to scoop that directly here into our muffin pan. We need to get 18 muffins. So this is 12, so we'll do a second batch of six and that will be the right amount of smart points that we're looking for per muffin so go ahead and get your pan filled and then we're ready to get these into the oven i almost forgot one of the most important parts to the top of our muffins we are going to add a couple of chocolate chips and that way we've got some chocolate on top and we've got some chocolate chips mixed in with our batter. And what I always do is just take my finger and I just kind of push the chocolate chips down only because I want to make sure that they stay on the muffin when they come out of the oven. And then these are going to go in a 350 degree oven until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. So probably 15 to 17 minutes, just kind of depending on your oven. I just pulled the muffins out. These look so good. They rose. They're huge. They smell amazing. I'm going to let them cool for just a couple of minutes. And then we are going to go ahead and put in, we still have some batter here and some chocolate chips. We're going to put in our second batch of muffins. Time for six more and our last six of our chocolate muffins. So I went ahead and sprayed these six cupcake tins here with some nonstick cooking spray. And we're gonna go ahead and scoop in the last six of our muffins, get these into the oven, and I'll be back when these come out and we'll go over the points and everything because these, you guys, look delicious. And here are our muffins, you guys. These look so good. These are huge, thick, full-size muffins. Look at that. Yum. And they are only two smart points each on any plan. Now, if you have two of them, it is five smart points with that wonderful Weight Watchers math, but they are two smart points for one muffin on any plan. So I am excited for a little chocolate overload. So here are my snacks for the week. I'm keeping it simple, good quality food. So for my morning snack between breakfast and lunch, I'm gonna have a Bilt Bar. I'm loving the peanut butter. The peanut butter Bilt Bar and the toffee almond, which they just brought back permanently, which is super exciting, and in a full-size bar, rather than the Bilt Bites, is four smart points. All of the other Bilt Bars are three. But you guys, look at this. They're, this one is packed with 20 grams of protein, seven fiber, only three sugar, and seven fat and it is made with organic peanut butter. There are little chunks of peanuts in it. It is so good. My favorite way to eat this one is straight out of the refrigerator. So this one is four smart points. Again, all of the other Built Bars are three with the exception of the Toffee Almond. That one is also four smart points. My code here on the screen gets you 10% off and free shipping on no matter what you buy, whether it be the Built Bars, the Built Boost, sample boxes, full boxes, whatever, you get 10% off in free shipping. Save my code because it's reusable. And there's also a link down in the description box. If you click the link, it'll automatically apply the 10% in free shipping. So this is gonna be what I have in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm either going to have one of these chicken sticks. These are from Costco. And these are only two smart points for this entire chicken stick. And look at how big this is, you guys. 
Like literally, this chicken stick is huge. So I really like these. They have 15 grams of protein. They're made with great ingredients and they keep you nice and full. Or I may do a half of a cup of my Daisy Low Fat Cottage Cheese for two smart points. And then I like to top it with one point worth of these croutons. You can have two tablespoons for one point. I just weigh them out on my food scale and I crumble them up and put them with my cottage cheese and it is so delicious. So this would be a three smart point snack two smart point snack and four smart point snack so there you go my snacks for the week thank you for joining me on another weekly ww meal prep you guys these three recipes are must must makes absolutely delicious i cannot wait for breakfast lunch and dessert for the upcoming week all of the recipes are linked down in the description box below as well as any modifications and the points for all three plans also in the description box are the links and discount codes to some of my favorite ww things as well as the link to my facebook group we have 14,000 members who would love to have you head on over and join our community it is such a positive supportive place to be so we'd love it if you'd head over and join us there also if you're new welcome welcome i do a meal prep monday every week so you are always getting new and exciting ww recipes and meal prep ideas here on my channel so make sure that you're not only subscribed but you've hit the bell that way you're just notified every time i upload something new so you're not missing out and of course thumbs up this video if you love meal prep and comment down below let me know which of the three recipes are you most excited to try for yourself thank you guys so so much for watching and spending this little bit of time with me and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye what's it like to be the one that he turns to when he